video, I'm going to talk about some recruiting best practices. And specifically, I'm going to talk about the relevant recruiter method. Now, before I get into all the details about the relevant recruiter method, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're dropping new videos every single Monday and Thursday, all about all things online marketing, lead generation, automation, personal branding, and much, much more exclusively for the staffing and recruiting industry. So go ahead and hit that bell in whatever corner it is. You're notified when I go live. Now, what I'm about to share with you, this whole relevant recruiter method is how hundreds of recruiters have implemented this to help them save time and drive more revenue into their recruiting business. These are people like Tom Caravella, Katie Kelly, Leslie Boudreaux, Ken Ferguson, Mark Wilson, the list goes on and on. Go ahead and take a look at the uh, testimonial channel here if you want to learn more about how people have been leveraging the relevant recruiter method. But let's talk about the relevant recruiter method and its best practices. The first step of the relevant recruiter method is what we refer to as standing out. It's the standout step. And the whole purpose of this is to get clarity of your ideal target market, your ideal clients, your ideal candidates, and really work on an online or digital brand positioning that differentiates you from the next recruiter. I know that that's one of the biggest challenges recruiters face is how do they separate themselves from the next person when they're both just putting in a body in the seat? Well, if you're thinking that way, that's where the opportunity is because you do a lot more. And I found that a lot of recruiters undervalue what they actually bring to the table. And if you find a way to communicate this value digitally, what happens is you start to stand out and you don't, you're not viewed as a commodity anymore like a lot of recruiters are because they start to view you as an authority and somebody that can help them solve bigger problems in their organization. And when you do that right, you usually get more exclusive and retained opportunities. And at the very least, you get respect from the hiring manager so you can get you know feedback on the clients or the, excuse me, the candidates you're bringing to the table. So make sure the number one thing you're doing is standing out and differentiating from the competition. The second thing you want to do is you want to look at building out automated lead machines. What does that even mean? Well, what we want to do is leverage automation to generate phone calls for you so that you have a more efficient way rather than pounding the phone and smiling and dialing all day long to generate new opportunities. Now, there's some great things that you can automate. You can automate LinkedIn and you can automate email campaigns and you can actually even use a little paid advertising, which is another you know kind of way of, of, of automating. But LinkedIn automation is a great way by just just focusing on growing your network with like-minded hiring decision makers and or even candidates, engaging with those people through messaging, rolling out drip email campaigns, whether they're for client development or candidate development has to be a part of your business development and recruiting strategy so that you're more leveraged. And that's the second step of the relevant recruiter method. So first step, stand out. Second step, automated lead machine. The third thing you want to do with the relevant recruiter method is we have the content conversion system. And the content conversion system is just a fancy way for us to say to create content that gets people to take action, create content that generates an inbound lead. Now, your content should ultimately drive your positioning in the marketplace. It really should help you stand out if you have got a good content strategy. And you should be creating content around you know, solving problems for your market, uh, helping them, sharing with them new solutions, sharing with them your wins, sharing with them your personal life. All of these things kind of tell a story around your brand. And this is something you can do for your company. This is something you can do as an individual. This is something you can empower other recruiters and business developers in your company to do and have them build personal brands and create content. Because when you create quality content, what happens is you start to generate inbound leads for phone calls. It's not about getting a bunch of hundred likes and comments and a bunch of fluffy stuff that gives you a dopamine rush. It's about getting somebody to see your content, strike a chord, you hit a pain point, so they come in and come to you for that solution. So that's the content conversion system. And then the last thing is what we call multi-channel scaling. Multi-channel scaling is a fancy way for us to say, show up across multiple platforms. And what does that look like? Showing up on LinkedIn, showing up via email, showing up via Facebook, showing up in YouTube, you know, having a presence wherever your market is. And the reason we want to do that is so that we're the most top of mind choice. We all know that just because we start marketing, companies don't necessarily start to hire or candidates don't start to move. So we want to make sure that we are there and present and top of mind when their hiring need arises. So that's the relevant recruiter method. That's how that's been working. The relevant recruiter method has been generating steady phone calls for hundreds of recruiters and has added hundreds of thousands of revenue to recruiters across the globe. And it's something that you check out. So if you want to learn more about the relevant recruiter method, go ahead and grab a time on my calendar below and make sure that you join us over in the relevant recruiter Facebook group. We have free trainings every single week. So this is Donnie Gupton. We will see you in the next video.